guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to bring you around um, I don't know basically vlog Christmas Eve and Christmas Day so you guys can see what we do on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and but anyways right now I am up I'm super tired I look like a wreck but we're going to Shaz to just grab the stuff that I need for dinner and for dinner tomorrow um, I'm making a turkey and like two sides and I'm gonna make the kale soup that we're gonna have tomorrow so I'm just gonna make it today so then the only thing we have to do is warm it up my mom and my sister are gonna come by tomorrow on Christmas Day we're gonna hang out and things like that um, it's not gonna be a party because I usually don't really have parties on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day is just me my boyfriend and the kids and what else I think that's really it but right now I'm just gonna go to Shaw's and I'm gonna go to Dollar Tree <laughs> so I'm gonna drink my coffee we're gonna go to Shaw's and I guess I'll get back to you when we are I guess on our way to Dollar Tree even though Dollar Tree is like this is Shaw's over here Dollar Tree is literally across the street so I might just come back on here when I get home and I'll show you what I got at Shaw's and Dollar Tree Bye. so I am back home right now I had an eventful morning but I am gonna go ahead and show you what I got at um, Shaw's I went to this place called um, America something I don't know that's where I usually get my rice and then Dollar Tree. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that now. So I guess I'm going to start at Shaw's. So I ended up getting these Ritz crackers for my boyfriend. Um, I got the leafy green kale for my kale soup. And I did get some of this organic spring mix. So the spring mix is for my bunny. I usually get him this or I used to make him his own little mix of stuff but I feel like this is so much easier I believe this was like five dollars and it's a really big um, container I also got these ugly sweater cookies that I really wanted to do with the kids I got some Idaho potatoes this is gonna go with my kale soup and I did get some uh, mild chorizo um, and that I also put in my kale soup as well I did get just the Deli Deluxe white cheese and the sharp cheddar cheese I did get to make um, mac and cheese today. Um, I did get this um, unsalted butter. I did get some flaky biscuits that I'm going to make today. Um, the mixed veggie, I did get this for my kale soup as well. And the green beans is just gonna be one of the sides for tonight's dinner. And I did get two of the beef, beef broth. Clearly I can't speak, but I got two of those um, for my kale soup. Um, and so the next stuff I'm gonna show you came from that um, Spanish store. And so I did get this Thai jasmine rice. This is my favorite rice. So I had to grab that. I did get a twisted lemonade for the boyfriend. I did get some Puerto Rican sofrito. I usually get the Goya one, but I saw this one and I was like, let me just, I just wanted to try it to see how it is. I usually make my own, but I haven't done that in a while. But um, yeah, so I got that. I season everything with that. Okay, and so with, I'm gonna show you guys how I make my coquito. So. I'm gonna make it today as well. So I did get some, two cans of the coconut milk. I got two cans of the um, evaporated milk. I got three cans of the sweet condensed milk. I got three because it was two for, I mean, three for, I think it was like three for five dollars, something like that. I did get some cannellini beans and some dark kidney beans. Those I use for my kale soup. And then for Dollar Tree, I did end up getting my favorite Vaseline chapstick. I love getting these there. Um, and I just like to have them. I still have a collection of them, but I do, when I go in there, I do like to grab 
more just to have. I did get this uh, foam trays um, for dinner. And then I got these little bowls so we can have the kale soup in. So then we're not using up all of my um, bowls and stuff. And there would be less um, dishes to do. And then I just got all types of candy for um, movie night tonight. We are going to go ahead and watch a Christmas movie with the kids. I did get this Fidel. Fidel Fadel. I don't know. I don't know how to say it, but caramel popcorn for me. And then I got two of these movie theater popcorn. Back here, I did get two of these getting some adult beverages. Um, this is my favorite um, wine is the Barefoot uh, Strawberry one. I did get the Bacardi. This is for my uh, Spanish eggnog that I'm going to make. And I'll show you guys that a little bit later when I make it. I did get two of these crystal um, natural spring waters. I usually get these for my bunny and for us, but he has his own and we'll have our own. And then I just got a fruit punch from Dollar Tree as well. So that is what I got for today and tomorrow's dinner. So right now, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and take, the turkey's already out. It was thawing for a few days because it was super frozen. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, season that up and put it in the fridge for a little bit so it can just marinate with the seasonings that I'm gonna put in it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and clean out the bunny's cage, like change his water, give him some of the, um, the greens because I didn't have any this morning. He usually will eat about 10 to 11 o'clock. That's usually when I feed him. Um, so I'm gonna do that first. And then we'll do a little bit of cleaning in other places. I'll get ready, I'll do my makeup, get the kids ready, and basically just be ready for the day. And it's literally just gonna be a chill day. I'm literally just gonna be home um, cooking and cleaning up for tomorrow even though we're not gonna do anything tomorrow either I can help you in a minute okay all right so let's start on the actually I have to put this food away first and then we'll go ahead and um, season the turkey <laughs> because it does have turkey juice, gross. Um, so I'm going to do it in here. Ew. I do not like to deal with meats. Okay, anyways. I'm just going to get salt, garlic powder, I do have a little bit of onion powder I want to put in it. Um, I do need one more thing. So I don't know where my adobo is, so we're just going <laughs> to leave that out. Um, Alright, so I am going to use some sofrito for my um, turkey. I'm going to have some butter, I have to melt some, and then the, some of this garlic 
and onion. I think we're just going to do a garlic butter and that's going to go on top of the turkey. Um, Alright, so now I'm just going to try to take out all the stuff. I need something to put this stuff in. This is so weird. <laughs> I'm going to take this out too. I don't know how to... Oh, I know there's usually a bag in here of something. I don't see it though. Okay. Um, okay. So I'm just gonna rinse it. I need to rinse it off a little bit because it's I'm gonna rinse the turkey too. Just just to clean it off a little bit. I can't pick it up. Ugh, it's too heavy. Or is it in here that the bad news? I knew it. Uh, I'm just rinsing him off a little bit because, you know, he was in a bag of blood, so we don't need that. Alright, so, alright, so when I'm going to season it, I want to put some gloves on so I can massage it on there. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and kind of dry the turkey a little bit just so we can get like a crispy um, skin. It should be alright because I'm just going to go ahead and just use it for here, not anywhere else. This, um Maybe like four ta uh, tablespoons of it. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I am gonna put some garlic and more of the sofrito in it. So then we'll just put it all over it so it can have a nice crispy crust. So let me bring you towards the, don't judge it, it's probably dirty, but I'm gonna, yeah, it's a little bit dirty, but no one's gonna be here. And this is real life. It's just gonna be us. But I am gonna clean up a little bit. I'll put it in the in the vlog, I guess, as well. But it'll be like speed cleaning. I'll have me on speed dial. <laughs> just kidding. Anyways, so yeah, so half of this, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in um, here, so I can just melt. And I'm basically just gonna use it like a glaze on top. Um, I'm gonna be a, a garlic sofrito butter. So then we can, like I said, we can have a nice crust on the turkey. So that's what we're gonna do right now. And let me just go get mine. All right, so 
Um, it did. Let me show you. It's melted the butter. I am. I'm not gonna put the sofrito in there. I'm just gonna actually just. It's still frozen. Um, they freeze these things. Um, maybe next time I'll show you how to actually make it. I'll make my own. Um, so I can make a video of that and show you guys how to do that. Okay. Anyways, so instead of me um, putting the sofrito inside the butter, I'm not gonna do that because. turkey i'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning the bunnies area because i didn't do it this morning because i did run to the a couple stores like i told you earlier so i just wanted to clean his area out because it is a little bit messy and i like to at least keep it clean and um clean it at least once a day um because he likes to make a mess i'll show you right now what it looks like and I know people are going to be like, oh my god, his area is so small. He actually comes out for half the day. checking in now I finished the bunnies area I am gonna start on my room because this room is a disgrace um, so I wanted to do that and then I'm not gonna record it it's just too much work to record myself cleaning and doing all this extra vlogmas no well not vlogmas but vlogging all at the same time so i will come back in a little while when i'm done i did put the turkey in the oven so i will be cooking it about five hours so it should be done by seven o'clock um and that should be a good time that we're gonna eat anyways and um yeah so i guess i will i'm not gonna show you an overview of this room this room is it always gets so messy um so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then hopefully after that I'm gonna go jump in the shower and put some makeup on and do my hair and actually look somewhat decent. So I'm back you guys. I finished cleaning up besides putting away the, the laundry I have still hanging here since like the beginning of the week. But I am done picking up what I wanted to pick up. Still look a wreck. Don't judge me guys, this is real life. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and warm up the rice from yesterday for the kids to eat right now because my daughter is complaining that she's hungry. So I'm just going to go ahead and warm that up right now because after I take a shower and get them together um, and do my makeup real quick, I'm going to go ahead and make the mac and cheese and um, a little bit of rice that I wanted to make and use my new um, rice cooker that I got for Christmas. I will be having a video of what I got for Christmas this year. It should be up maybe the 26th or the 27th. It just depends on if I'm going to record today and tomorrow and put it together or if I'm going to do it separately. But look out for that video because I am definitely going to show you what I got for Christmas from my friends and my boyfriend. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in the shower now. So I've done everything for myself. I'm going to go ahead and send my daughter to take a shower and get in her PJs. I'm going to start on the um, elbow mac and cheese that I'm going to make. So I'm going to just take you along with me to make it. I already have some 
water boiling and I have a small um, pot to make the homemade um, cheese sauce. So we're gonna do that now. Wait, cheese sauce? A reindeer and a reindeer. Yep, a reindeer and a reindeer. Can you move that way? Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and start on my cheese sauce. Um, I have, hopefully you can see me. In this cup I have two cups of milk. I have, we need one, one fourth cup of butter that I'm gonna put in here now. Oh, and I do, we need one fourth cup of flour. No, don't say that. One jar of milk? So half of this butter will go no, in here. Oh. No, mm -mm. not today, honey. You'll help me later with the cookies. You can decorate cookies later, okay? Oh, Since we're waiting on the pasta to cook, I'm gonna go ahead and make the uh, Spanish eggnog, and I'll show you guys how to do that too. I'm probably not in in flame, in frame, I mean, um, but I'm just stirring the the pasta. So I think I'm gonna start that now because I really want some. I have ice. Um, you can make it virgin with no alcohol but I'm gonna make mine with alcohol because it's that type of season so I'm gonna go ahead and get a bowl you can use a blender if you have one I do not own a blender at this time um, a few miles away it was broken so I never ended up buying another one so I'm just gonna stir it with a whisk over there it, no it's fine it could be baggy it's baggy look at mommy's baggy too Mine's are baggy, so go get your shirt. So I'm just gonna use a bowl. Let me go get it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rinse this bowl up. I'm gonna use this bowl. I'm gonna make two cans of each, so it's gonna give me plenty of coquito. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna speed it up or anything for you, just in case you want to make it as well. It's really good. If you're a coconut lover, you would love this drink. But my kids love it too. I usually make a little bit for them to have without the Bacardi. But yeah, so let's start doing that now. All right, so I usually, it's better with a blender, but since I don't have one, the whisk is the next best thing. So I'm gonna, first I'm gonna put, you can do one or you can do two, you can do three, you can make a big, huge batch if you want. Um, I'm sorry if you hear the fan, but that's the fan on top of the stove, and that's not going to turn off because it's too hot in here. Um, so I'm going to just do two of everything. So this is the cream of coconut. I like to put this in first because it's super thick, and I don't want there to be chunks in it because that's what happened to me last time. I'm, mm, I did this last, and it was super chunky. It was kind of gross, but so it kind of looks like that. Let me get close. Hopefully, that's the way it looks. Let me bring it over here so I can... Like, look at how chunky that is. You want it to be creamy, so you want to... If you don't have a blender, you have to cream this first with your um, whisk. So, I'm going to do that right now. And sometimes it's, like, stuck in there, so you might need a spoon. Let me go ahead. Or a fork. Whatever works at this point.
Now I'm just gonna whisk it until it gets creamy and it's not like thick and oily, I guess you can say. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, so when you're whisking it by hand, you want it to look like this. You don't want it to look chunky. You don't want there to be like chunks of the coconut in there. You just want it to be all nice and smooth. So then the drink is nice and smooth. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and put some evaporated milk. Anyone you like. There's all types. We're going to put some coconut milk in it. I'm going to put two. So we're putting two cans of each and then two cans of the um, condensed milk yep sweet condensed milk and that's basically it then you chill it you can put ice in it um i like it ice with ice and then i'm gonna go ahead and put a cup and a little bit more of the bacardi uh, and then i usually keep my um my wine bottles i save those i, I wash those out and um, and I use it for my coquito. So then, you know, it's in a cute bottle. It doesn't, it's not, you know, in a bowl or anything like that. Unless you want it in a bowl, then I guess you can have it in a bowl. But I say it's nicer in, you know, and you can gift this to family, like on the holidays. They're not gonna say no to alcohol. Unless you don't want them on alcohol, so don't give it to them. I'll give them a virgin one. Let me stop. Okay. I hate this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's super like sticky. Uh, this thing is just like so sticky. And it's really good actually. I really do like that. I want to lift it up. We won't. I'm just going to shove this in there and get all of the condensed smoke out of it. I do want all of it though. I'm going to be so happy. It's so pleasant. I'm going to say like. Thank you for the hug. Now, if you want cinnamon, put cinnamon. If you don't want cinnamon, don't put any cinnamon. But I like cinnamon, so we're gonna put a little bit. We're not gonna put too much. If you like cinnamon, add as much as you want, but I just eyeball it. I say like a tablespoon of it that I put in here. So I will put some to the side for the kids, for them to try. Since I'm the one drinking it, I'm just gonna try it. With my spoon. It's really good. Don't do that if you're gonna like, you know, give this to someone, but I'm not giving mine away. It's for me to drink. So let me get closer to it. Maybe I can bring you closer so I can show you what it looks like. And that's just the, it takes a little bit longer when you're just 
using a whisk. It would be faster with the blender, but it's good to go now. And then now you just portion it out. If you're going to, I'm going to portion it out and put a little bit to the side for my daughter. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the Bacardi. <music> stuff then go ahead and drink it all but I've tried and the next day or even the day of me drinking this I get so much stomach pain uh, because of all the milk that's in it so I can probably have three max of the uh, little excuse me I can't even speak English three cups of coquito because then it's just gonna start making my stomach hurt but you know what I'm gonna make myself my first one now did you make some for children? No. That is illegal. Yeah, I did. I made some for children. Hey! Alright, maybe that's too much ice, but I like ice. We're gonna shake it real good. More like when you mean children, you mean me? Yeah, basically. I think, hey. I think you're the only one that likes it on. Hey. I'm just filling it to the top. Hey. Hey. I like to have a straw. Because, you know, I'm bougie. No, I'm just kidding. You are not bougie. If, if someone is bougie, it's definitely DD. It's still hot, but... Bougie. 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 Um, but anyways. Still a little bit warm, but... Yeah. I'll one hand both of you. Oh, my God. <laughs> All I gotta do is swap. Okay. No, I didn't. I'm recording. So I'm ending this vlog here. I know I haven't vlogged for a little over a few hours. We did end up eating dinner. We did end up taking pictures. I'll probably show a couple in this video. It's super long already, so I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. But we are ending it here. I think it's almost 12 o'clock and these kids need to go to bed. So yeah. So subscribe to my channel. Like and comment. Bye.